visibility. Now visibility we're going to discuss in this section and essentially functions and variables can have different visibility levels. And depending on what visibility it has depends on how this function or variable can be accessed. We've only used public as our visibility, but there are a few others as well. I'm simply going to remove this and make all the functions look the same, but they do have different function names. I'm also going to make a function three and four. So let me just clean this up and we're going to have a two, three and four. Seeing that we have so many public functions now, let's discuss public visibility first. When you declare a function as public, that means that any account can basically call this function. It can be a user account or even another contract. And in the case of a variable, if we declare a uint, let's call it my uint, and we'll call it my uint1. Let's just give it a value of one. If we declare a uint as public, then basically it's saying that any account, user account, or contract can read this value. Regardless of what visibility a variable has, an outside contract can never directly change a variable's value. It has to happen inside the contract. Okay, so the next one we get is the private. Now, private is interesting because nothing in the Ethereum network is really private people will be able to see this function and what it does. And the same goes for our variable. Now, if we had a variable that was private, people can still see the value. However, private simply means that only the contract that this variable or function is declared in can make use of it. Next, we get internal. Now, internal is interesting and it kind of works like private, but the big difference is that, yes, the contract itself can use this function, but also other contracts that inherits this contract and its functionality. So it's kind of like saying, okay, if a contract inherits my functionality, they can make use of this function too. And the same goes for a variable. And lastly, we get external. Now external says that only outside accounts can call this function. Other users can call this function or outside contracts can, but the contract that it's defined in cannot. I think of it as the selfish <laughs> visibility. However, uh, external only exists on functions and cannot be used with variables. Let's now test this out. I'm going to deploy the contract. And now we see something interesting. We only see my uint1, this variable, because it's public. The private and internal we cannot see. However, it is not hidden from the world, and this is what I mentioned before. It is just we cannot access it. But if you deploy this contract to the blockchain, people will be able to read and see what the values were when you declared them. And they'll be able to see the data being passed to it. So just keep in mind there is no privacy, but we cannot access them. For the functions, we can see my func1 and 4, and that's because my func1 is public and my func4 is external. Now, even though my function2 is private, what we can do is call it in the public function1, meaning that if someone calls public function1, function2 can still execute. So we can call it and pass its parameter, like so, and we can see we are not using the mind num. So let's just get rid of this variable for now, or this parameter. But you can see that this is perfectly fine. So my func1, when it's called, then the private one can be called as well. It is just they cannot directly call private and internal. And like we said, if we even try and call my func4, which is only external, this will also result in an error. And this is because it cannot find it. It's not, uh, it doesn't even see it. It says it's not there, right? We cannot access this. So this is exactly how this works and visibility works with solidity.